All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol CCL, Carnival Corp. And before I get started, I do want to state there are no emotions involved in these charts, just strictly charts. And I do not get paid for speaking about specific charts. The first thing I want to point out on this chart is the 50-day moving average, and that is 1971. That is above the closing price. Very important. Why? Because this is in bearish territory. Now, we do see this in a stair step going downwards, but it almost can look like it can go back up or it can just drop back down. That is uncertain still, but the fact that it's below the 50 day moving average can create a steep bearish trend. And we're already looking at that starting way back here, top of the hill, bringing itself down. Bulls tried, got rejected, brought down. But there's some key things to pay close attention to for tomorrow. And that will be the first resistance level where it got rejected. Very important. This is $20.93. This is the resistance level that the bulls will need to tear through. Use a support level to create new resistance levels. If you want to jot that down, $20.93. Obviously, first, before we can get into bullish territory... 1971 will need to be broken but after that is broken for the bulls to continue their rally they have to break through that resistance level first and the last thing is the support level and this support level is important why um because of the fact that if it is torn through it will be classified as staying in bearish territory and a bearish chart we will start to see and the 50-day moving average will be starting to get further away and this will be further down from it the further down it is from the 50-day moving average the more bearish and that support level is 18 dollars and 14 cents this closed out at 1880 very important as well due to the fact that it is a lot closer to the support level it is below the 50-day moving average and it's a lot further from the resistance level i'm not saying that the bulls won't rally up, tear through the 50-day moving average, and start to work their way up towards this resistance level and may even break it and use it as support. And I'm not saying that the bears won't tear through here, bringing it lower, and then the bulls can rally back up. I mean, there's some uncertainty right now, but for the key points, the 50-day moving average is above the share price, and that is a concern to see this going into a bearish trend. Anything can happen. This is one to definitely keep a close eye on, but that is a big gap from the resistance level and the support level. But as long as you keep your eyes on it and see those numbers and see how close it gets to it and what's going on with the stock tomorrow, you'll have some uh, insight to go ahead and make a rational decision. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you learned something new. Hit the like button if you like this video. And also share this with your friends and community. And last but not least, comment down below. I do want to see your guys' insight. You guys can state your positions. I definitely want to uh, build a community here of investors where we can all discuss or you guys can discuss with each other. or We can discuss these charts and uh, what is coming up for the following day. And just even feedback. I always appreciate feedback. It means a lot. So definitely comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.